Din ta din din ta din ta din din ta din ta din din ta din ta din din ta. When I introduce the tabla to audiences who have never heard it, they often say to me, "Oh, I've heard this sound before." The tabla is spread far beyond the subcontinent, the Indian subcontinent, and it's now being. Played by many non-South Asians as well as South Asians who are here, who are American and who are Canadian. I was introduced to South Asian culture through my birthplace, Pakistan. I was born in the city of Lahore, which borders India, and my parents were there as missionaries through the Presbyterian Church. They were doing social work with uh, Pakistani Christians. I come from a musical family. My mother is a semi-professional violist. I grew up in.、Uh, Listening to Western classical music all my life. It's at Rutgers University where I encountered the tabla in my adult life at a live performance of sitar and tabla. The sitarist was a very fine performer, Dr. Alan Miner, and the tabla player was Paramjyoti Kuchlakota. The word tabla comes from the Arabic word tabl, which means drum. Why is there an Arabic word in an Indian Pakistani instrument? Well, Muslims came in from the 10th century onwards to India, various invading forces, and that those forces intermarried, mixed with the indigenous population of the area that we call India, and a new culture developed. You can say world. Cultural fusion—it's been going on for a long time, and that's what this drum is about. I moved to Seattle, Washington, where I ended up doing coursework for a master's degree in ethnomusicology. It is there that I、uh, met with two very important influences in、uh, my studies of tabla. The first was the great Sufi singer Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan. It was his suggestion that I go to Pakistan to study. Another tabla player came,、um, named Ustad Akram Khan, and it was then that I really made a, a very, very strong commitment to tabla. That's what I lived for, above everything else. I then made preparations to go to Pakistan to study the tabla further and to see the land of my birth in my adult life. The tabla is a sophisticated instrument. It has a language system. If I say the word ta, I actually can play it on the drum. Tin, tu, tete, treka, ga, ge. Combination sounds: ga plus ta becomes da. Ga plus tin becomes din. Play it together. Din. Ga plus tete becomes tete. Ga plus tete tete becomes tete tete. So then we can get we can string these sounds all together and get very complex patterns. I went to Lahore, Pakistan, in 1994 through 1996, sponsored by a Fulbright grant. I went to study specifically with a very famous double player, Ustad Shahkot Hussain Khan, arguably one of the best of Pakistan. He died. Very sadly, while I was there, after having studied about one year with him, but of the lessons that I got from him, I cherish them, and it was a profound experience. I'll play one of my own compositions that I have based on my teacher's composition. I used that as the base, and I filled it in with a lot of other sounds. <laughs>
in Pakistan, they did not develop uh, art music. There wasn't much interest in the state and in the culture in general to support the classical music or art music traditions. So the great musicians there languished. They got very little attention both within Pakistan and internationally. The tabla players who I met there were very, very welcoming and open to my research. I was one of the only foreign researchers to actually go there and look at their classical music tradition. I spent a lot of time with the tabla makers, specifically with one very dear friend of mine, Rafakat Ali. I also was learning the language Urdu and studying about the culture in general. I then returned, finished my MA in ethnomusicology at the University of Washington, and then I worked for about one year before I actually went to do a PhD in ethnomusicology in Toronto, which involved a lot of archival work and the research that I had done on tabla and the tabla playing in Pakistan in uh, 1994 through 1996. I'm now working at the School of Library Information Science, Kent State. I'm going to school there full time as a master's student. I am teaching tabla to one student right now, Ryan. Dati dagi din na. Dati dagi din na ke na. Dati dagi din na ke na. And he's making very good progress. I've done a few gigs with a number of different people. Hans Utter, the guitar player and guitarist. Tony Harrington, aka Dr. X. And with another like, fusion drum and bass band called Glitch Titanic. Overall, musically, I'm doing quite well here in Columbus. It's, it's really nice to be here. The sounds of this instrument have been sampled on CSI, um, Law and Order, all kinds of commercials, electronic ambient sound, a lot of hip-hop artists have sampled it. You hear a lot on NPR as well, just this ambient music. You will probably now notice when you hear the tabla being played in the soundscape that we inhabit. Tabla is a blissful sonic experience, both for the performer and the listener.